Midwest is the Grand Prix, the Indianapolis 500, the Daytona 500 of the offshore powerboat racing. If someone wants to be the top of this sport, they have to come to Key West. The big thing about Key West is this is a body of water that everybody thinks they got figured out, but nobody's ever got it figured out. Well, Key West is, is uh, a unique thing because of the three race format, and the weather's never usually the same. The boats now will be getting bigger, and they'll be getting faster, and they'll be getting louder as the day progresses. That's why we are really getting amped up, and I tell you what, when these guys get out there today on this very, very fast track, once again, they're going to be letting it all hang out. Attention all respond to the main area. going to win it all, baby. going to win it all. Winning here is what it's about. This is not a game. This is the real deal. Once that hatch closes and that green flag goes, there's nothing like it in the world. We have a green flag, let's go racing! We are going racing superboat style. It's just been really competitive the whole time and we're not taking anything for granted. It's gonna be really exciting and a real nail biter. I think every boat here could win this race. It's so difficult to say, who's gonna be the guy that I gotta beat? I gotta beat them all. There's always been a bullseye on my back, but, you know, bring it on, I don't care. I'm going to go home with him and then hit it. Everyone's going to fight to get position. Everyone's going to fight to get the turn. Everybody's going to fight to be where they need to be. And look how close they are. This is unbelievable. We were bumping, coming in all the way around. We were bumping at the turns. It was definitely a drag race out there. It was unbelievable. We got him now. Intimidation at its finest. It's a tight race course, you know. It's a 4.3 mile lap. So when you have these tight race courses and everybody's kind of evenly matched and coming in and turn together, things happen, unfortunately. Getting ready to line up. Next thing I know, I just saw the whole bottom of their boat on top of me, and pretty much our world championship was over right then and there. Oh my God, it is here. Oh my goodness. You're not running 100% the whole time. You're going to be left behind. Try to get out of his way, I am, I am. Remembering that these boats shoot out a 75-foot rooster tail. It's not like an automobile race where one can be right behind another. Where did that come from? Hey guys, we're done. This thing hurt bad. It's just you gotta make sure you pick a lane, hold your lane, and everybody's gonna be running for that same turn. Look at this, look at this! Yeah, it's an all-out competitive race out there. Because of the speeds we reach, everything's gotta be right. A tiny little nut, a wire here, the boat out of balance. It could be disastrous. The spin out was extremely violent. It threw him out of the back of the boat. Oh my goodness, they're getting upset when they were awake. Woo! Bob Christie just got ejected. Nobody lays down day one, day two, or day three. There is no lay down. You have to go out and you have to run every day, hard every day. 